Hi friends. In this video, I would like to discuss about a new method, simple and easy method of reduction of anterior shoulder joint dislocation. This is a case presented to OPD with immense pain over right shoulder joint with a history of fall and his right shoulder was kept into external rotation and abduction simultaneously. This was the position by the patient at the time of injury, external rotation and abduction simultaneously. The patient presented to OPD with an attitude. Attitude means how the patient presents. The patient supports his affected hand, that means right hand with opposite hand. This was the attitude of the patient. On inspection of the shoulder joint, for inspection, undress up to the waist. This is very much important in shoulder joint inspection. Here you can see in this picture on inspection, normal contour of the shoulder is lost and you can see flattening of the shoulder. Why? Because anterior shoulder dislocation is the diagnosis of this particular case. Head of the humerus is displaced anteriorly and it is placed below the paracord process. So here you can see flattening of the shoulder joint on inspection. On palpation, we can feel acromion process laterally. Normally, on normal shoulder joint, we can feel greater tuberosity laterally, but due to the displacement of head of the humerus, we can see or we can feel acromion process most laterally and head of the humerus either below coracoid process or below glenoid fossa. Here in this case, this is a subcoracoid type of dislocation, anterior shoulder dislocation. Here we can see the Dugas test. Dugas test is the confirmatory test for the anterior shoulder dislocation. Please note that Dugas test positive means it won't be always anterior shoulder dislocation. You go with inspection, palpation and confirm it with x-ray. This is the x-ray of that particular patient, shoulder joint AP view. Here we can see head of the humerus is under the coracoid process. This is the subcoracoid type of anterior shoulder dislocation. Here coming to the reduction method, this is a very simple method. It can be told as modified coaches method. In coaches method, we are doing traction along the line of humerus, external rotation, adduction up to the midline of chest and medial rotation. Here in this method, we are making the shoulder to abduction and external rotation in which the dislocation occurred. As we make the shoulder into abduction and external rotation, here you can see it is coming to an abduction and external rotation position. The patient resists this particular movement. Patient fear whether the, it causes pain, but it won't cause pain. Please speak the, to the patient calmly and generally do this particular maneuver to abduction and SM rotation. It's a very simple method. And we make it into an abduction and SM rotation position in which the shoulder is located. And then we are doing the same method, traction along the line of humerus and then SM rotation. Both this gives the reduction. Here you can see by giving the traction and a simple SM rotation, it is corrected. This is the method, traction and SM rotation and then place the thumb on the axilla and do adduction and medial rotation. It is a modified coaches method, very simple method, simple for the doctor and for the patient. As it's a gentle method, the trauma causing to the glenoid labrum and surrounding soft tissue is very less. Here you can see that particular position is made into external rotation and abduction and then traction along the line of humerus and then external rotation is given. By this method itself, the dislocated shoulder is reduced. Very simple method. Please remember traction along the line of humerus and external rotation in abducted and externally rotated shoulder, affected shoulder. Please diagnose the case first and ensure to take x-ray to avoid fracture. If there is fracture, don't attempt reduction. This is very important in shoulder dislocation and in all dislocation. This is the reduction method, simple method. And here, after the reduction, you can see the normal condor is uh, regained by the reduction method. And here, you can see the Dugas test. 
in dugas test the patient is able to touch the opposite shoulder which is a no it, which is possible only in the normal shoulder joint and here after check x ray should be taken the check x ray of shoulder ap view shows normal joint after the reduction method and after that we should do a shoulder spiker bandage like this a small cotton pad should be applied and then a ball is kept for a slight abduction inside the axilla and then a shoulder spiker bandage should be done from here a shoulder spiker bandage like this should be applied to the affected shoulder it should be tied like this here you can see a shoulder spiker bandage or swastika banda swastika banda either shoulder spiker or swastika banda both are same it should be kept for 3 weeks and a sling should be applied and it should be rested like this 3 weeks immobilization is must in all dislocation and in shoulder joint dislocation also to avoid recurrence for the healing of the glenoid labrum it should be kept for a period of 3 weeks or we can use a shoulder immobilizer a shoulder immobilizer should be applied like this here we can see shoulder immobilizer consists of two parts one part should should be kept in the shoulder joint like this and other around the abdomen and it should be tied like this the affected shoulder should be kept in this immobilizer like this in this particular position if we are applying shoulder immobilizer please note it is shoulder immobilizer not a shoulder support if we are using a shoulder immobilizer then no need of a sling it should be kept like this then the patient can't move the affected shoulder we can kept it for 3 weeks apply a pichu over here and then you can use a shoulder immobilizer like this and after 2 weeks then use only this particular strap avoid the immobilization of elbow after 2 weeks the elbow should be kept free as part of early rehabilitation like this this is a shoulder immobilizer let me conclude regarding shoulder joint dislocation we discussed about the attitude inspection palpation and then the special examination test dugas in after shoulder dislocation patient is unable to attempt any movements and dugas test is positive coming to the reduction method a simple reduction method traction and external rotation itself gives the reduction and then support the axilla with thumb and then adduction and medial rotation is done and medial rotation is itself dugas test and then either go with swastika banda and a sling or a shoulder immobilizer should be kept and after 3 weeks of immobilization start shoulder rehabilitation exercise with pendulum exercise shoulder assisted movements abduction internal rotation and then all active use and exercise of shoulder joint then shoulder joint movements against resistance and at last shoulder movements with weight bearing after that ask the patient to continue all the routine activities thank you thank you very much